Water spouts are not too uncommon along the Oregon coast, especially in the fall. That's when I've noticed them. A little warmer uh, ocean water, I mean warm for the cold air masses coming in overhead. You get a little extra twist. Pretty quiet out there right now. That's our Discover Newport camera, 45. What a chilly day. Today was the coldest day in Portland so far this fall, just barely making it to 50. I see it's 51 at our Chinook Winds Beach Cam. And uh, yeah, we're entering the dark season now for sure in the evenings. Whew. Um, already dark at 520, almost dark. 47 degrees from our skyline camera. You see the clouds scooting along. Uh, they're coming up from the south. That's a southerly breeze we had yesterday and today. By tomorrow morning, the wind starts coming out of the gorge out there uh, east metro, and it'll be pretty strong by tomorrow afternoon. Gus, 3540 out in Troutdale and Camas and uh, Gresham. By the time the wind makes it all the way into downtown, it'll be calmer. But the point is, tomorrow's going to be a windy day on the east side of town, but a dry day. And that's the only dry day I have in the seven-day forecast. So, yeah, you see that high of 51, coolest we've seen uh, since way back last spring. So most of us in the 40s right now, I guess all of us are, it's dry in the city, but you see how the showers are still coming and going. So you walk your dog or do something outside right now, it's dry in East Portland, but you'd get soaked, maybe even a spot or two of hail around North Plains down to a uh, Verbort. All right, so for the kids tomorrow morning, I think it'll be partly cloudy, cool but dry, 42 degrees, no frost but no rain. And then in the afternoon, uh, high clouds, 56 degrees, so tomorrow's going to be a beautiful dry day. Like I said, it's the only one in our seven-day forecast. We have all these showers going by, and look how much lightning there was along the coast for the last 24 hours. Little or none of that made it inland. That's more common. In the fall and winter, we tend to see actually more along the coast than here in the valleys. But uh, high pressure is developing to our south. That's sinking air, and what that does, it just kind of dries things out, uh, holds off this next system for a day. And you can see by morning, we've got just partly cloudy skies. So some of us will wake up to sunshine tomorrow morning. Looks like a nice first half of the day. Second half of the day, we start to get the high clouds, the east winds blowing out of the gorge. That's 1 p.m. By 10 p.m., then that's when the, uh, the rain is arriving. Uh, the bonus is the next three days, just about all the rain is tomorrow night and Tuesday morning. So most of it will fall under the cover of darkness there. So we get to Tuesday morning, it's back to scattered light showers. And we'll have some showers coming and going Tuesday, but sun breaks too. Wednesday, um, a lot of gray. I just don't see that much rain, if any. So big picture, later in the week, we do think things will be warming up back to normal or maybe temperatures a little above normal, but we're still going to stay wet. See, uh, as we get into Wednesday, Thursday, look at this big area of high pressure. You'd think we turn all sunny and nice, right? Well, it's not strong enough to keep weather systems away, so it's a warming atmosphere. It'll back off the rain a bit Wednesday, Thursday, and then the strong westerly flow Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's a really wet pattern for us. So we're thinking next weekend's going to be a wet one. All right, so tomorrow, nice and dry throughout the day. Uh, it won't be real pleasant on the east side with the wind blowing, especially midday and afternoon, but a gust of 35 out there. And then you see the seven-day forecast here. Uh, we got a holiday Thursday, Veterans Day. Looks like just a lot of gray, but temperatures turning milder as we go through the week. Highs from uh, low 50s Tuesday up to low 60s, we think Friday, Saturday. Uh, a soaker next weekend and Friday, but it will be very mild. No sign of frost in the next seven days.